Hey guys, uh, we're going to take a look at how to install Sitecore 9.1 uh, for a developer workstation using the Sitecore developer free trial license. Uh, Sitecore 9.1 was released today, um, November 28th. Uh, for us to get started, um, get a developer trial license from the Sitecore website, um, you would have to fill in the form and you get an email with the license. It's a 60-day trial, um, really not that hard to get. Once you do that, um, go to the uh, download section, download the latest version, which is 9.1. Uh, don't worry about the SIF at this moment. Uh, just get the XP single. Uh, also the documentation uh, we are we are going to just look at the quick uh, install for the developers workstation pretty simple and straightforward really um, it has uh, compressed uh, steps um, easy to go through um, so i don't think it should be that difficult for you to set yourself up uh, there's some requirements as you can see um, the is requirements the Core server, my machine is um, should be decent. Uh, it's a brand new AWS machine with uh, the right specs and the OS at this moment in time. Uh, I did install the uh, hosting service and made sure that the .NET Core is the right version. So the OS should be decent um, for us. Uh, and then uh, .NET requirement, I did make sure that I installed the, the version 4.7.2 double-checked it in the registry to make sure that's the case. Um, I also made sure that the C++ uh, redistributable uh, was installed. I um, don't really need, um, uh, what do you call the the Visual Studio, um, but you know, that's that. Uh, for the database, I installed 2017 developer uh, edition on it which should be pretty decent i made sure all the updates are taken care of uh, on the windows box um, as you can see it's a default instance um, so i don't have to worry about it when installing um, i'll install those two patches shortly um, and again with the search we can uh, i installed um, uh, so i ran that script um, in in uh, sql and then um, all the other requirements should be decent um, as well on there. Um, I uh, did install the, the solar with HTTPS 7.2.1, um, which is running at this moment and should be functioning. There you go. Um, once that's done, I mean, again, uh, we can look at the rest of it. We have to go ahead and install the SIF. Um, and then go on from there. So we shall take a look at how to install SIF. So um, let's look at installing. Installing SIF, uh, the, like I said, this is a brand new machine. I've never installed uh, anything on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and install um, SIF version 2. Let's validate that. As you can see, it is version two, and that's primarily what we need uh, in order for us to get things taken care of. Now let's, um, so I'm hoping you guys already downloaded the, the uh, what do you call, the installs from the site. So let's uh, take a look at those next. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, unzipped the, the install uh, file. So I just downloaded the, the 9.1 uh, from the site, unzipped it, unzipped the XP configuration files as well, dumped all of them in here. As you can see, the prerequisites.json uh, file is over here. We are just going to follow 
the, the direction. So let's do Let's see what happens. It's just going to go through. Uh, it's going to take a look at all the prerequisites. I think this is something different than it was before, where um, it takes care of all the prerequisites, or at least it checks for you and installs it anyway. So it's trying to tell you what it's trying to do. Uh, you could tweak with the JSON and do a bunch of things. But at this moment, our main goal is we're trying to uh, we are trying to just do what the the install guide tells us to. We're not trying to do anything additional other than that. So let's uh, wait and see what all it does. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and pause um, the recording until it, it installs everything it needs instead of just uh, just waiting for it. Looks like it's installing pretty much everything it needs or things it needs. So it finished all of it. Like I, I said again, um, this is the first time they had a prerequisites thing, which is actually installing everything it needs so that it makes it easier. Um, so now let's uh, go ahead and see what the rest of the, the quick install guide walks us through. Okay, so the document talks about a bunch of different things, but at this moment, we are focusing on XP single topology. So pretty much everything on one talks about having a folder called resource files. You could technically technically call it anything you want. It just you know, you just have to modify a bunch of things to get it to work. So we did extract um, uh, the on uh, on prem single with the X connect and the identity server uh, we have um, all the uh, json files it's requesting uh, we also have the license file which is the the developer trial license which is in here uh, we will be modifying the single developer um, uh, powershell script um, I do have a um, default instance uh, running for SQL, so it will respond to that. Um, the password for all of this, and pretty much uh, that is pretty much it. So as uh, it mentions it specifically, uh, I did change the, the site core admin password instead of leaving it as default and for it to auto-generate and for me having to look through the log and things like that. So once you're all set with this, the next thing uh, only left for us is actually running the script, which we will do right now. Okay, now let's go ahead and run it. All right, so this is the first time we're running the script. Let's have a look what happens. Uh, let's hope it does what we are expecting it to do. seems to be pretty quick uh, and again this is the first time I'm running this script so let's hope it doesn't die on us um, so far so good it's creating course in solar okay so that looks nice We're almost halfway through and if you really think about it we haven't really started it uh, a while back it's just been a few minutes so this is a great progress let's have a look i'm just going to let it run through and then see what comes off of it 
I'm going to pause the recording right now and then we'll continue it. Looks like it's um, going through. The web deploy took quite a bit, but looks like this part um, progressed a little bit. Let's keep an eye on it and then I will uh, unpause it once we make some progress. Okay. Looks like we are coming to the end of it. Uh, it still didn't take that long, honestly. Um, sub five minutes, I would imagine. It's, it's running a ton of things, um, so it's understandable. I think it should be close. 83 out of 88. I will again unpause it once it's done. So far, so good. It has not given any errors or anything of that sort. Okay, almost on the last um, step, I would imagine. Let's hope it goes through and I don't have to do anything. Um, this guide uh, itself, uh, the next page is just how to uninstall it. Um, again, we are only looking at how to do the um, quick install for a developer workstation. In the other document um, where you can scale, there are some post-installation scripts if you would like to do it. As you can see, it finished. Uh, the password is be my friend. Let's try it out and then see what happens. It'll, uh, it'll come back out. Oh, well, that seems pretty, pretty quick. Kind of. Still waiting now. Come on, it's the first time. All right, so let's see. Be my friend. Boom. All right, let's save this guy. That's pretty quick, I should say, don't you think? Uh, let's see. I'm quite sure this is pretty pretty decent server. This is a pretty decent server. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, okay. Um, as usual, we would like you to support um, Stack Exchange. It's in public beta at this moment. We need you to ask questions, try to answer questions. Upvote, downvote, comment, anything which will help us uh, build this knowledge base. It's an absolute wonderful site for us all to be contributing towards. Uh, so please do that. Uh, Setco Slack, as you know, is also very useful to get in touch with a bunch of people. It's a sense of community. There's a ton of people on there. So join in and join the conversation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.